The attack surface has changed and security solutions haven't kept up. Most solutions were designed for easy to spot tip of the iceberg attacks, but today's attacks are nuanced and sophisticated. Most of that sophistication and subterfuge lies below the surface, creating a hulking lurking iceberg of risk. The attack surface has changed, but attack methodologies have evolved as well. Today, attackers come in low and slow. They use ubiquitous computing power, AKA botnets, to try attacks below the threshold of detection of most perimeter security solutions. They'll try a recon attack to get information about the directory structure of a website. They'll try a SQL injection attack to see what perimeter defenses are in place. They'll try a login and then they'll try another one and then they'll try another one to map the threshold of detection for multiple login attempts. All of these things have evolved and have now been weaponized into you know, vast botnets of, of attack bots that are using these sophisticated methodologies to get around defensive from traditional WAFs and, and other next generation WAFs. Maybe I've watched too many crime dramas, but the behavior that we see from attackers is analogous to someone casing the joint. They're not coming in and trying a brute force attack to knock down a front door. That's obvious. That's going to trigger perimeter defenses. It's going to get the neighbors to call the cops. Instead, maybe they're driving by the house and looking and seeing if there's lights on at 6 p.m., 7 p.m., 8 p.m. They'll monitor that house. They'll case that joint. They'll figure out if that homeowner has a dog. They'll see if there's perimeter cameras. With that metaphor of casing the joint, we see the kinds of evasion techniques in, in a real world crime that we're actually seeing in cyber crime. Those evasion techniques as applied to web app security means that users are changing their IP address. Attackers are changing their IP address. We've seen botnets cycle through 45,000 IP addresses in an hour. We see them changing their TLS fingerprint. We see them changing their user agent, all in an attempt to sort of circumvent perimeter security from other solutions. Sophisticated attacks require sophisticated solutions. Legacy security solutions might be great at blocking a single SQL injection signature, but attackers are sophisticated and they're never going to try just a single SQL injection signature. They're going to try that. Then they're going to mix in a shift in IP address. Then they're going to do an account takeover attempt, and then they're going to do a cred stuffing attack. And then they're going to cycle through multiple user credentials, all sometimes in the same, you know, 500 milliseconds. You're the captain. You're navigating a hostile sea of risk. You've got your crew out on the bow doing iceberg watch. That's great. If there's an iceberg, they're going to see it. But you and I both know they're going to see the tip of that iceberg. And that's not what's going to get you. Talk to ThreadX. We'll help you see the threat below the surface. Thank you.